So just a few days ago, the Ottawa Senators have announced that they have fired head coach DJ Smith. Now, obviously, a lot of people going into this year ha- had high expectations for the Senators. And, well, the Senators have not lived up to those expectations at all this year. It's a mess down in Ottawa right now, honestly. It's rough down there. Like, just a few months ago, they fired their GM. Now they fired their head coach. Like, the stuff is just a mess down there. And they can't seem to figure it out, really. But also on that note, after the firing of head coach DJ Smith... The Senators moved their assistant coach up to interim head coach now. And they also announced that that Daniel Elfordson has been hired as an assistant coach. So Daniel Elfordson will be an assistant coach for the Senators now. But let's go back to the Senators and how rough this has been for them this season. You take a look at the Atlantic Division standings here. You see Ottawa, bottom of the division there, last in the division with a record of 11-16-0. I mean, like I said, all, all kinds of people had high expectations for them this season. Um, including myself, I thought they would definitely be a better team than they are this season. Um, it's honestly pretty shocking to see them struggling this year, uh, given the young talent they have on that team and just, uh, really good players on that team too. Um, take a... Also, take a never look. You see, they're also the third worst team in the NHL right now, sitting in 30th place, only with 22 points to only one point above Chicago and San Jose. So, Macklin Celebrini, the projected first overall pick in this year's upcoming draft, I mean. If Chicago gets some wins and San Jose gets some wins, I mean, it could be good for Ottawa because they could get first overall pick and get Macklin Celebrini and then hope to build that for their future. But maybe, honestly, that's what they're trying to do, tank for Celebrini. But I don't know because the last few years Ottawa's had... Some pretty high-end top picks, and still, with that talent, they can't seem to do much. But, yeah, like I said, things are rough in Ottawa right now, but maybe the hiring of assistant coach Daniel Alfredson will turn this team around a bit and get them back on track. And, uh, but right now, it's definitely a mess down there. I mean... Like, obviously, they have a new GM now, too, but firing your old GM months ago and then firing your head coach, like, it's just rough down there. And let me know, but that's pretty much going to be it for this uh, episode, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, Let me know your thoughts on the firing of head coach DJ Smith. Especially if you're a Senators fan, always curious to hear your guys' thoughts and how you think, where you think the Senators should move on from this. But until next one, I'll see you guys in the next one.